This is me ordering pizza in an Italian restaurant. Yes, could I please have the pepperoni pizza and a wad of napkins? Because every time I get it, I have to blot the grease off with a wad of napkins. So I found a better way to make homemade pepperoni pizza. No grease, nice crispy crust. It's all about the crust, and I'm going to show you how I do that first. I use my KitchenAid stand mixer because it does all the work. And I start with one and a half cups of bread flour. You can use all-purpose, but I think you'll get a better crust with, when you use bread flour. Um, I use this uh, rapid rise yeast. Uh, you don't have to proof it in the warm water. You just add it into your dry ingredients and it works. So it's three quarters of a teaspoon of that yeast. It's three quarters of a teaspoon of sugar and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then we're going to add two thirds of a cup of warm water and it should be just around 110 degrees or so. So if you're not sure, uh, it'll just feel not hot but warm. And if, and if you're not sure, you can take a measure like this with an instant thermometer. So 110 degree water and about a tablespoon of olive oil. You can add the olive oil uh, right to the water. And then you put that in and that's all it takes to make the, the dough. Get the mixer going. You add the water and olive oil together. And the mixer will start to make this into like a, a ball. You add the water slowly, make sure you don't add too much. I think I added just about just a little bit more, most of it, right there. And uh, you'll see the mixer is, is actually kneading this dough right now. And um, it, it'll, it'll pull it away from the sides of the bowl. So I'll be back in two minutes and the dough will be ready. Okay, it's all done. You can see that the dough is kind of a nice solid mass, which is what you want. And now what we're going to do is we're going to grease a bowl and um, I can set this down here. You just put a little bit of that same olive oil into a bowl. You grease all the sides like that. You put the dough in there. You turn it over so it's greased on all sides. You cover it nice and tight with saran wrap and put it in a, a warm place, either like in a warming drawer, under a lamp, uh, even out on the counter. It'll rise up until it's about double in size. And you leave that for about an hour. I know it's a long time, but there's a lot to do in that hour. You have to make your salad because you've got to have a healthy salad. And you have to prepare the toppings. Now while the dough is rising, you're going to preheat your oven to 425 and you're going to use the lowest rack. So make sure there's a rack on the very bottom of the oven at 425. Now to get the ingredients ready, the cheese, you know, uh, mozzarella is a naturally low fat cheese anyway. And we're going to use four ounces. Now this is an eight ounce package. So what you can do is just roughly cut it in half like that. I recommend shredding the cheese and not using the uh, pre-shredded packages. That's all done. Now, there are uh, several kinds of, I'm finding a reduced fat pepperoni all over the place. These are turkey pepperonis. They're way, way lower in fat. And I'm gonna use uh, the Hormel. But here's my big secret for the pepperoni. This is, you're gonna degrease the pepperoni first. It's really, really easy. You take a big dinner plate, you put two paper towels on the plate, and you take your pepperoni, as much as you think you wanna put on the pizza, and you spread it out on the plate, okay? just like that. So there you have the pepperoni on the plate. You take two more paper towels, a double layer of paper towels like that. Put another plate on top of the pepperoni to keep it from uh, curling too much. It'll keep it straight. Uh, 30 seconds in the microwave and here's what we're gonna have. See all this? This is grease you're not gonna be eating by preparing the pepperoni this way. And if you look, it's also on the on the back side of the uh, the paper towel. That's what you want to get rid of before you put this on your pizza. Okay, it's time to roll up my sleeves and make this pizza. Now besides degreasing the pepperoni, one of my big secrets to a good pizza crust is this kind of a pan, the kind with the holes in it. These things really, really work. I've done pizza on a stone in the oven, on pizza stone. I've done it on the grill, but the most consistent pizza I get is with this kind of a pan. So, and you prepare the pan with about maybe two teaspoons of olive oil. I just run it around the side like that. And you cover the whole thing uh, with olive oil. It just takes a second. Rub it around and make sure you get it everywhere, not just on the sides. I know it's a little messy, but uh, this really, really gives you the most beautiful crust. I'll set this aside. And now I've had a dough that's been rising for about an hour. It's right here. And we're gonna start, I'm gonna start by rolling out the dough. And um, see, it's nice and lively dough a little bit of flour on the board or on your counter, wherever you want to do it. Now, I always, I always do that for good luck. Spank my dough. Okay. So um, I start out by rolling it. 
try to get it into as close of a circle as you can. And if it fights you, it's actually a good thing because that means it's, uh, you know, what they call like a live, live dough. Whatever it takes to get it in a circle. No tricks here, just kind of, I start it, kind of start from the middle and go all different angles to get it to, you know, not, the, not as big as the sheet, but as big as you can get it. And then, well, I'm not going to toss it like they do in the pizza places, but we are going to try to stretch this dough. So you take it off the board. Whoops. If it sticks, you just use a little flour like that. We're going to pick it up, and we're going to try to stretch it a little bit. And that's what they're doing when they toss pizza dough at the pizza places, stretching it somehow. I don't know what it does to the gluten or something, but it really makes a really great pizza dough. You can also use the weight of the dough to kind of help stretch it. You need about 45 minutes to get the oven hot enough, so definitely start that oven when you start rising this dough. And see when it gets close to the right size, and you see it's got bigger just from stretching it. Now I'm going to put it on the pan and do the rest of it by hand. You just kind of pull and stretch and get it to fit like that. And if you like that kind of a big crust on the edge, you just kind of do it with your finger like this. Go out to the edge. You can use the back of your hand like that. Make a nice little roll. It'll keep coming back and you just keep pushing it back. You have to fight with this, fight back to the dough. There. It's all good to go. Now we're going to do, put the uh, ingredients on. Uh, I just use a regular store-bought sauce. Uh, there's uh, Ragu makes one. I like one called uh, Erico's. And you need about uh, two-thirds of a cup of uh, sauce. Of course, you can make your own, but I just like the store-bought ones. I have no problem with that. About two-thirds of a cup, and you kind of roll it around. And if you do, by the way, um, want mushrooms or peppers and stuff like that, do the same thing with the microwave. Slice it up, put it between paper towels, and microwave it, and you'll take the moisture out because too much moisture will make a soggy crust. So there's the sauce. Now I pre-shredded the cheese. You know this is four ounces of cheese. I really don't think you need any more than that. You kind of spread it around like this. And again, uh, you, they have pre-shredded cheeses, but they're not going to be as good as uh, shredding your own. And you saw it just took a matter of seconds to shred it about four ounces of cheese. And then here comes the pepperoni, the degreased pepperoni. And you saw I filled a, a dinner plate with pepperonis, and this is just about enough to cover this pizza. This is, uh, I do this like once a week. I love, I don't feel guilty eating this pizza. Okay, in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, here it is. It's still bubbling. Here's my pepperoni pizza. Nice and healthy, low fat, should slide right off like that. And take a look at this crust, okay? It's hot, ready? Boop, ah, okay, it's time for a little sampling. Can you hear that? That is a pizza crust. You can hear the crispiness. And take a look at this. That's what I'm talking about. No blotting necessary, no grease, no plate, no fork, and the best part of all, no guilty conscience. Mm. You have no idea.